Hi everybody. Welcome in to Watch Me Wednesday episode 14. I'm going to face that down just a little bit for you. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you all had a great time um, viewing the little quilt along that I did uh, and showed you how to make that pop-up. Hey Gail, how are you? Welcome in. Um, so I wanted to go over a few things before I get started with what I'm going to do today. And first I wanted to, hey Jana and Donna, I wanted to welcome you back in, but I also wanted to congratulate our winners of the giveaway last week. Gail Brown, who is here with us already. Hi, Gail. Congratulations on winning the pop-ups and my pattern spinning wheels. Uh, they have been sent off to you. And congratulations to Buffy Laura. Con thank you to all who ent entered. That was fantastic. And I can't wait. I hope you continue to post your spinning wheel blocks. And if you make a pop-up, and it doesn't have to be with my spinning wheels block, but if you make a pop-up, post that too, because I'd love to see it. And I know Joe from the Fat Quarter Gypsy would love to see it too. But in that vein, I want to show you, I finished my pop-up that I was demoing on. So I wanted to show you, here it is. Didn't it come out cool? And it's in my Fresh Pickens fabric. And I just wanted to let you know, for all of you that have been waiting for a long time, it seems like, for my Fresh Pickings fabric to arrive in my shop. Oh, there's the inside. To arrive in my shop. It is being shipped from Island Boutique uh, as we speak. So I'm hoping to have it up on my website along with kits and all, hopefully within the next couple weeks. Depends on when it actually gets here. But, so if you're looking for this fabric, and the, the um, strip packs, the charm packs, the fat quarter packs, all that stuff, it will be on my site soon. Um, and I know it's being shipped out to a lot of quilt shops across the country at the same time. So you will find it. If you don't find it locally, you can definitely find it on my online shop. So this was my pop-up made, and I want to see your pop-ups and your spinning wheel blocks too, people. Um, please keep posting them. Hey, uh, Aileen, how are you? But I do want to tell you one little mess up I had, and it was my math brain apparently that day. On the tutorial for the pop-ups, you know these two um, pieces that I had you make that were flanking the spinning wheel blocks? Um, I, and and also the little skinny strips at the top and bottom. I had uh, a little mathematical error, and I put the correction in the um, the description for the video. So the corrections are there. So if you're trying to put it together and you're like, this isn't matching up, it was just I shorted it just a little bit as far as the inches were concerned. I think it was like a half an inch on the top and bottom and a half an inch on the other side. So just so you know, there are corrections. So if you haven't cut them out yet, go back and check. I, I did write them in. So the big rectangles are actually 10 inches, not nine and a half inches. And I don't have, I threw out the other little measurement for the little strips for the top and bottom, but they are there. I wrote them in. So, but today I bet you're wondering what I'm going to be talking about. So, um, as you know, I write patterns and I design quilts and I design fabric and um, falling apart here. My shirt's falling down on me. Um, I wanted to show you something that I love to do because I think it makes a quilt interesting. So I'm gonna share with you a couple little things and I'm gonna show you a couple quilts that are done with it. We're gonna talk about curves today. One of my favorite things in quilts and I know that a lot of you may be a little apprehensive on making curves, but don't be. I have a YouTube video out on my YouTube channel, so I'll put the link in the description of this video when I go upload it to my YouTube channel, and you can go look at the piecing a curve video because I show you a great little technique. And if you take one of my classes, you're most likely gonna see the technique in one of my classes. If you'd like me to come teach at your shop or your guild or community event, Get, on get in touch with me on my website. I certainly can come. I travel all over the country. So, 
If you think you know of anybody that might be interested in curves, hit that share button now and we're gonna talk some curves, okay? Um, so I'm gonna, um, first I wanna hold up a few things to show you and then I'm gonna tilt the camera down. Okay, I have a few patterns that I'm gonna actually reference uh, during this so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So one of my patterns um, that I do curves in is link them up, okay? I have one of the quilts here with me, which I'm gonna show you next so that you can see. This pattern is created with my template set. I bet you didn't know I had a template set and a pattern. So my template set is called Links and Circles. And you can get these on my website, and yes, I will put the link in the description for you afterward. But this template set creates the, the um, link them up and it also creates a pattern from my book Splash of Color. So those of you who didn't know I have a book Splash of Color a Rainbow of Brilliant Black and White Quilts and it makes a quilt that's in here and I have the quilt and the alternate one here so I'm going to show you. So this is the quilt that it makes in the book Lava Lamps and here's the alternate quilt that my friend Caroline Berman made um, from the links and circles set. So I'm going to show you those three quilts now and then I'm going to show you a couple other things and then I'm going to do a little quick demo down here so you can kind of see. So let me show you the quilts first. Okay, so this is the second quilt that we made from the, um, let me see if I can get it the right direction. I think this is the right direction, I can't tell. But let me step back a little bit. And I'll kind of rotate it. This is the link them up pattern, and I will put the um, the link to the link them up pattern uh, in the description. So I'm just kind of rotating it. These quilts are these quilts are really big, so it's hard for me to get them all in here, so you can see. Let me bring it up close though, and you can kind of see the block that's created from the template set. Okay, and I'll show you a little bit of that um, once I finish showing you the quilt. So that one is called Link em Up. That's that pattern. Then the two from my book, Lava Lamps. So here's the, the original quilt that I did. And I, if you know me, I love my black and white prints. This is Lava Lamps. Okay, so this is made from the same template and it's all a matter of how you place your color and value, okay? And I talk about that in my book. So hit the share button if you, any, if you know anybody who might wanna learn a little bit about curves and thank you for all the love. Send me some hearts, I love seeing the love floating across my screen. So this is the lava lamps and I'm gonna show you the alternate lava lamps. So again, Depending on how you place the, the colors, you get a whole different look. The same pattern, different look. Okay, so it's kind of cool how it's placed. And a lot of times people will look at it first, you know, first glance and they'll think it's a drunkard's path, but it's not a drunkard's path. It's the links, it's my links and um, circles template set that is available on my website. So I'm gonna show you something in a, in a minute. I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can kind of see how that goes together, okay? Now the next thing I wanna show you is another, the, you're gonna get a little sneak peek here. So this is kind of cool. Hit that share button, everybody. And thank you for all the love. I love it today. I'm in, I'm in a really good mood and it's hump day. It's Wednesday. So here's your little sneaky peek. So I have a new, I have actually five new patterns coming out at Fall Market. This is one of my new ones. And yes, this is my new fabric line that's coming out. Um, the new fabric line is called Blue Moons. And yes, it's all these blues and these purples and these lavenders. And it's so, so pretty. So you had gotten a little sneak peek of it before when you saw the um, pop-up that I did. But here it is in one of my newest patterns. And this pattern is just using a simple drunkard's path. But again, it's all placing your fabrics and your colors in the right places to get that look of a flower, okay? So these are curves as well, but it's a different kind of curve than what I just showed you. 
So that, and I don't have the quilt to show you, but that's one of the patterns, and this will be up on my website very, very soon. So you will be able to get this pattern, but they just came in fresh hot off the press. But what I wanted to show you too, so from the same type of thing, a drunkard's path block, again, from my book, because I like curves so much, they, I did um, a quilt called Proud Mary. It's named after my grandmother. And I have both of those quilts here to show you. And for those of you who have been in this class, I've, I taught this class actually all over the country, love teaching this class. I've seen some spectacular renditions of this quilt. I love, love, love seeing your renditions of this quilt. So that's my version. And then we did a modern version where my friend Sally Murray did it just in solids, black and white solids with um, monochromatic colors. So that's a Drunkard's Path curve. And let me show you the two quilts from that. I love curves. And remember, I said I'm going to put links to my YouTube video. So definitely hit the share button here so um, everybody can go take a peek at that video when we're done. So this is the first version of Proud Mary. And you can see how I love my black and whites and my colors. You, I have a stash that just can't be beat when it comes to the colors and the black and the white. So that's the very first version. Uh, and if you don't have my book and you do want to purchase it, I do sell them on my website. If you purchase it, I'll put a link in the description. If you purchase it, I send you a signed copy, personalized signed copy to you. And I send you a little, I call it book bling with it. But you can also get it on Amazon. It's cheaper on Amazon. You just won't get a signed copy. And that's okay with me. Wherever you purchase it, that's fine. Um, so here is the second version of Proud Mary. We did this a little more modern. And you can see we did it in solids. And I don't know if you can see up close and personal, but... You can see the quilting a lot better when you do solids. And my friend, when I did the uh, book, my friend Margaret Solomon Gunn, whom some of you probably know, she's an award-winning quilter, she did uh, about a third, she quilted about a third of the quilts in my book for me because um, I just couldn't quilt them all myself. So it was myself, Margaret, and my other friend Pam Burnham. We quilted away all the quilts in my book. So those are... Those are the quilts I'm gonna show you now. I wanna show you a little bit about the curves. So I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can kinda of see what I'm doing in front of me, okay? So, alrighty. Now, let me just push it back just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit. So you can see here, let's see. So these are two of the shapes that are in the Link Em Up in the link em up pattern and the lava lamps pattern. And it's, I've got one, a larger one and a little bit smaller one, okay? And you can see what I did here with the color. So if you wanna do a block, so to speak, these aren't gonna to go together obviously because they're two different sizes, but um, the actual block from the, the links and circles template actually goes together like so. So you get a square. These are from my Fresh Pickens fabric, okay? So when you're planning out your quilt, you can actually do a um, color drawing if you want and place your colors in to determine where you want them to fall, okay? Because however you place them, you can get so many different looks on this quilt uh, depending on how you place it. See, and if you, let me just show you the lava lamps quilt in here again. So if you look at the lava lamps quilt, see how they're arranged in here? They're arranged up and down, and then I also give you some circles. That means there's four pieces laid out there versus just the two in the block, or you get a look like this. You can also make it snake around. I've made them where it looks like the links are snaking around back and forth, back and forth. Um, not in a in a symmetrical manner, kind of like this, I should say. They were kind of like snaking in and out, but it all depends on how you place the color, okay? So my template set, actually I just whipped these up about five minutes before 
the we um, went on air here. But my links and circles set gives you the opportunity to actually cut them in the. You can do use two different colors here, background colors. So it gives you a more scrappy look. Uh, you can make it totally more scrappy. It gives you the opportunity to cut this in half, the block in half, and use make that scrappy. So you can really make it pretty cool. So that's how that works there, if you can see that. Um, they, they are fun to work with, and I have another pattern that will be coming out in the spring that makes them look really scra scrappy and uses the half half blocks so you'll get to see another way to use it yet so i'm continuing to develop patterns that use these templates so if you do purchase them you're going to have a lot of different ways going forward to use these so that's that particular block then then you have again the drunkard's path block which is in my new pattern and in the Proud Mary quilt in my book. So basically, it's this unit. Now you have now if you have Drunkard's Path templates, you can use them, but I do provide you and actually I don't have them right here. They're over over sitting on the floor. But I do provide you with a paper template in the pattern so that you can go ahead and cut them out um, yourself with the pl template plastic and if you have the book you also get that um where's, there it is the paper template in the book to make these units so you get the background unit and then your circle unit okay so placing those together gives you a complete block okay and then it's just a matter of how you place them that is going to give you that circle image okay so if that makes sense to you but i have a cool technique on how to put that curve together so if you're not familiar with that technique definitely going to want to watch my youtube video or take obviously one of my classes but the youtube video i'm going to give you a link so you can just click over to it so i'm going to tilt the camera back on up so you can see my face I um, hope you're not not too sad that you're seeing my face because I wish I could actually see you guys I could just see your names and little hearts and little thumbs up going across the screen which I love to see so I hope that I was able to give you some information about curves and I am going to give you those links on how thank you for all the love I hope I'm going to give you those links uh, so that you can go ahead and watch the um, curve piecing demo. It's really easy. If you've never tried curve piecing, I really urge you to try it because it gives you something extra in your quilt. It, it's like a little oomph. It gives you a little interest in your quilt. So if you've never tried it, give it a try. Even if you use some scrap fabrics to try with first, it's really, really a great way to add interest to your quilts. So I want to thank you all for coming in. And again, thank you to the winners and everybody who participated, Gail and Buffy, congratulations again. Keep posting your spinning wheel blocks and the pop-ups. If you make a pop-up, I would love to see your pop-ups too, so post those. So, I will post links for my book. This will be up online soon, so watch for that. This pattern, link them up, is online. I'll post a link for that. And these, my template set is also online, so you can play with that as well, and I'll post a link for that. So thanks for joining me today on episode 14 of Watch Me Wednesday. Stay tuned for next week because I'm going to have something cool planned for then too. So take care, everybody. Happy quilting. Hit that share button and have a great week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.